ATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, the skies have cleared a little bit of a winter chill setting in tonight through tomorrow morning, but finally a completely sunny day. The first one in 10 days, maybe the last one for the rest of the month. We'll see the sun from time to time, but sunrise to sunset. We should see the sun tomorrow, so something to look forward to. So let's take a look at the big picture across the lower 48 and it's full blown winter in the northeast, the northwest and in the Rockies. Uh, we are enjoying the tail end of the system that's producing some pretty heavy snows across the Great Lakes through the northeast into New England. Another series of storm systems coming in Pacific Northwest and California, but so far the storm track pretty much to the north of us, which means we get the chance of rain, things quiet down, we chill down, and then we warm back up ahead of the next weather system, and that's what's going to happen as we go into the weekend. Now, today we had the rains early this morning, late last night, early this morning, the high clouds clearing out, and it's been a relatively pleasant evening. You can see the stars out there. Rainfall-wise, actually, uh, this uh, rain event did a little bit better than expected. Most folks catching about a half inch of rain, about an inch and a half up, though, toward Oakdale, Ville Platte, a little over an inch, an inch and a half uh, near the Washington area. Lafayette came in with half an inch and a half inch pretty much common and, until you got into St. Mary Parish where there were spots that got an inch and a half to uh, an inch and three quarters. So some good rains and we needed the rains. We've been on the dry side. So chilly as we head into tomorrow morning, but more importantly, Mr. Sunshine is going to be out and with us throughout the day and after a chilly start, seasonably cool finish with temperatures at lunchtime right around 60 degrees. We'll top out in the mid 60s and then as we head into tomorrow night that high shuttles off to the east and here come mid and high level clouds not a bad day for thursday it'll be a little bit milder upper 40s to lower 50s and then milder also for thursday afternoon with temperatures topping out in the upper 60s to lower 70s and a pretty healthy breeze out ahead of this next low pressure system so we take a look at the euro get us into the weekend now the rain is going to look overdone because i'm doing a precip type versus a precip rate uh but that's because I like to show you the snow up to the north, but Friday should be a quiet day. Rain chances Friday, Saturday uh, in the 10% range. It's going to certainly be mild with temperatures in the 70s. And then as we head into Sunday, a little bit of a frontal boundary pushing on through. That's going to cool us off and watch what happens as we go into next week. The storm track goes right over us. Uh, the front stall, it stays green. Here we're going into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you get the idea. Lots of clouds and some rain chances in the extended forecast as we go into next week. Tonight, though, nice and chilly temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. I think we stay above the frost zone and maybe not Alexandria, but uh, most of us don't have to worry about the tender vegetation. Upper 30s, lower 40s down to the I-10 corridor and much the same with the exception of Cameron Milder right by the water near the coast. Then after that chilly start, a beautiful day tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid 60s. Soak up that sunshine and be careful with the sun. You can get a sunburn pretty easily any time of the year in Acadia especially when it's out all day long uh, like tomorrow. Temperatures uh, upper 40s, lower 50s tomorrow night. And as we head into Thursday afternoon, upper 60s to lower 70s will go about 71 the high for your Thursday. So the winter chill returns, clear skies out there, stars. And yeah, that's the quarter moon. We haven't seen too many clear nights of late as well. And again, a lot of sunshine, the first uh, fully sunny day in the last 10 days, and maybe the last one for the next 10 days, maybe even for the rest of the month. We'll have to wait and see. February looks to be certainly a cloudy month for sure. There are your temperatures warming up nicely as we head into the weekend then cooling off as we go into early next week. Brief warm up on Tuesday ahead of another frontal system and the rain chances 40, 50, 60 percent range on any given day going into next week. Hopefully the long range models have something a little bit different for us yeah. uh, going into next week, but we're not done with the chilly temperatures yet as well mm. uh, for the next week and a half. You may want to go into hiding Rob. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, just, just like the groundhog. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just kind of see it once a year. Disappear. <laughs> I'm going to disappear tomorrow. How's ah, that sound? Okay. Sounds okay. good. Okay. A better day to do it. <laughs> Thanks, Rob.